Ever since Instagram released the new Reels feature a few months ago, I've been posting tons of quick tip tutorials over on the Instagram Reels platform and I've been really enjoying the process. And it turns out you guys have been enjoying it too and one of my most asked questions is how I make such high quality Instagram Reel videos within Premiere Pro. So today I thought I'd break down my entire editing process on how I edit Instagram Reel videos in Premiere Pro, from how I choose which clips to edit how I actually edit the video itself, the color grading and the sound design in the video. You'll also be able to download my sequence and export settings in Premiere Pro for Instagram Reels. So the download link to that will be in the description down below. So go ahead and download that right now. But just before we get started, if you are new here, welcome, my name's Seb. This channel is all about videography, video editing and photography. I'm all about posting high quality short form content. So if that does sound interesting to you, then do consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already. But now that we've gotten out of the way, let's jump right into Premiere Pro and start editing your Instagram Reel videos. So welcome to the editing desk. Let's hop right onto Premiere Pro and start editing our Instagram Reel videos. So once you've created a project, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is then create a sequence. So click on the new item box right here and then select sequence. If you have imported my presets, then you'll have a vertical preset that you can import and use right here. But what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna show you the manual settings. So I've set my editing mode to custom. I've set my FPS to 25 FPS because that's what I'm shooting in in my camera. The frame size is set to 1080 by 1920. So this is set as a nine by 16 aspect ratio. So this is the correct format for Instagram Reels, TikTok and Instagram Stories. The rest of this stuff is set as default. All we have to do now is then select our sequence name and we're going to call it Pro Raw because that's what the video is going to be about. And then you can either save this preset so then you don't have to keep customizing it all the time or just import my presets and it'll make your life a lot easier. Once you've done that, just press OK. And then now all we have to do is import all of our footage. So I'm just going to drag it into my project bin right here. And then what we're going to do is drag one clip in and then you'll see that it comes up with a clip mismatch warning. Now this is completely normal. It's because the original footage is shot in a 16 by nine aspect ratio, but because I flipped the camera when I was shooting to make it a vertical format, it's going to say it's a mismatch. That's completely normal, but we want to keep the nine by 16 aspect ratio. So just do keep existing settings. Once you've done that, you can then drag in the rest of your clips into your timeline, just like this. Now, the first thing you notice when previewing your video is that it's completely flipped the wrong way. And it's also zoomed in a little bit too much. Now, this is because I didn't shoot my video in the traditional format like this. I actually shot it in a vertical format and I shot in 4K. So to fix this, all we have to do is select one clip. Then I'm going to change the scale to 50%. And then all I have to do is change the rotation to either 90 degrees or minus 90, depending on which angle you shot if you're shooting in vertical. Now all you have to do is copy these effects that you've just changed, and then select the rest of your clips, right click and do paste attributes, select scale attribute times and motion, press paste, and then it's just gonna copy these effects to the rest of your clips so they're all the right format for your Instagram Reels video. The next thing I like to do is just expand my clips so I can see them a little bit larger. So if I hold Alt down and then use the scroll wheel, it'll make my clips a little bit bigger so then I'm able to view my waveforms. Now the next thing we need to do is edit our video. As you can see, we have four clips here three of which have some audio waveforms. So this is me talking to the camera. And then the fourth one is a video recording of my iPhone for the tutorial of this video. So we're not gonna pay attention to this clip right here. We're actually gonna select these clips and then we have to edit through them. So if you select your razor tool right here or press C on your keyboard to get the razor tool out, we're actually gonna cut all the blank spaces out. So if you cut the clip and then use your selection tool, click on it and then press delete, you'll actually delete it. So all I have to do right now is just go through all of these clips, cut out all the blanks and then listen through to each of the videos until I find the right clip for this video. Once I have all of my trimmings, I'm then gonna listen through all of these clips and then find the perfect one. So for instance, if I like this take right here, I'm just gonna press M on my keyboard and it's gonna set a marker so I know which clip it was. And if I like this one, then I'll do that. And then I'll just get rid of all of these clips and then I'll give them both a listen once again. And then I'll select the correct one that I think will be best for this video. Now for the purposes of this video, say I like this first take right here, I'm just gonna get rid of this one. And once I have my main talking shot, I'm gonna go over to this video right here, trim it up once again and get all the clips that I need for the tutorial. And then we'll have a timeline that looks a little something like this. So if I just play it back for you right now, you see we've got the talking shot. And then a few seconds after that, we have the iPhone tutorial on the Apple Pro Raw. 
Once I have the main edit for this video done, I'm then gonna color grade it because as you can see, it's pretty flat. So what I like to do is just grab an adjustment layer and then place it on top. And then I'll extend it to the duration of a clip. I'll add one cut here and then I'll go into my everyday color grading section. It just opens up the Lumetri color right here and I'll also get out my scopes so then I have a better insight of what I'm working with. From here, I just like to tone down the blacks a little bit. I'll add a bit of white to my video, take the shadows down, add some highlights, add a little bit of contrast and then I'll add about 0.2 of exposure. I'll then add about 115 saturation and then I'll go into the creative section, add a lot, so if I use everyday sunset, I'll tone that down a little bit to about 30%, and then I'm pretty much done for this color correction of this main part. I'll do the exact same process on this video because as you can see, it is pretty dark. And then once I've added all of my color adjustments, then you'll see that it looks a little bit better. From here, the color correction part of the video is pretty much done. What I need to do now is then add a voiceover. So you can see that this section has no audio whatsoever. So I'm gonna click on this voiceover tab right here, do my voiceover and then trim it to the video so it makes sense. As you can see, I did two little voiceovers right here. And if I play back the video, then it finishes it off quite nicely. Nicely. Now what I like to do to finish off the video is add a bit of sound design and music. So I'm just going to add a little RGB split right in between the cut. So we have my talking shot right here and then the iPhone. And then on top of that, I then like to add some music. So if I just add the music that I've stolen from TikTok, so you can see I literally just recorded the TikTok music right here because I like the TikTok music. I then get rid of this top layer so I just have the audio track. I then drag it underneath and then cut it to the video so it meets the exact length. I then go into the essential panel section right here. If you don't have this, just go into windows and then essential sounds. Then I'll select music and then I'll tone it down to about minus 16%. You can also do this with your audio clips. So if I click on my voiceover, you'll see I've gone into the essential sounds. I've selected balance male voice. There's a few presets that you can select and then I've toned it down a little bit because I think it's a bit too loud. From here, we're pretty much done. We've edited our video. All we have to do now is export it. So if you head over to file or you press Control M, you can then go into the export section and select media. Now from here, if you downloaded my sequence and Premiere Pro export settings, then just click on the import button right here. And then you should have a Reels and TikTok vertical video export settings. And all you have to do is press export. Now, if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos and you're following along on this video, then I recommend you go watch my other video on the best Premiere Pro export settings for Instagram Reels and TikTok. It will be up here somewhere in the video and also linked down below. And it's basically a three minute video where I give you the best export settings. And it's basically this preset right here, but you can download it just to make your life a little bit easier. But once you've done that, all you have to do is select export and then you can start uploading to Instagram Reels. So that's how you can edit Instagram Reel videos within Premiere Pro. As you saw, the process was pretty quick and easy. Don't forget you can download my free sequence and export settings just so you can speed up your process a lot faster. These are the settings I use on a daily basis for all my Instagram Reel videos. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, do leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you.